Hello, today it is not really a tutorial, it's just a video how to use ribbon custom shape to create some crazy shaped ribbons. So, for example, like this star shaped ribbon. And stuff like this. So, actually, if you want to create ribbon other than plain, Multiplane, tube. Only way to create uh, other shapes in ribbon is to use custom shape, and it's actually not very convenient to use. You need to manually input your points in here, and yeah, create shape like this, which is not really convenient, I would say. Yeah, I'm trying to create a sphere right now, but it's not really happening. So to work with this, I created a small tool. And the way I expect it to be working is you create other emitter. Uh, you uh, use spawn burst. You spawn as much particles as you need in your ribbon shape. So as much points you need, you spawn that many particles. Let's say they start at five and isolate the particles. Now you decrease the size to one maybe, and go to shape, create shape location. This is the shape our ribbon will look like. And since the ribbon is actually in XY plane, I use ring disk, uh, set the radius to one that way our ribbon radius will be one and we will be able to use this ribbon width uh, more correctly to scale ribbon instead of using this shape. So if you, you can increase more than one value in here, which will increase the, the ribbon width, but you probably want to keep it kind of normalized. So that's why our points should be in a radius of one. Now, to avoid ribbon to be shaped like this, connected randomly, we must use direct in here. And instead of using H, we need to use execution index. Now we see four particles, but we spawn five. That is because we have one particle over here uh, which is doubled. So we have two particles here and one over there. Let me show you. Oh, okay. So one particle here and one, two particles here and one, two, three, four. So to avoid that, we need to turn this off in normalized index includes one, turn this off. Now we have five particles as much as we spawn, which is amazing. And if you see a ribbon shape, we have position and also we have normal. As for normals, I want normals to look outwards like this for every particle. And it's easy to make. We can use other attribute called velocity. And we have velocity from point, very easy. And it it's going from point and creates velocity as normals like we need it. But uh, we need to keep it also one and don't care about the issues and just dismiss it. Not important because we just need the attribute. We don't care about other stuff. And that's basically it. That's all we need. Now we need to uh, take the attributes. Uh, we need to go to attribute spreadsheet legacy. Here we can see, we can capture attributes. Uh, we can, and we care about the copy for Excel here. We don't have this copy to Excel in not legacy. I didn't find copy for Excel anywhere here. So if you know where it is, we can update the tool and use this one. But for now we use legacy one and we copy for Excel. And I have, I have the tool, just a Google sheet. And you need to paste your values in here. So you need to choose red cell and control V. Now we have these five particles over here. 
and make sure to delete everything before because if I paste it like this I have previous particles over here so I delete first and I paste this is my new values now it's very easy I go back to this sheet and these things got updated I just copy here and I go back here and I go to ribbon and right click paste if you just click Ctrl V, it's, it won't work. So right click paste. So this is our points. This is the ones you can see. Let's increase the point count to let's say 15 and scale in one axis. Now go to legacy, capture, copy for Excel and paste it here. Very good. This got broken. Let me try to see what's happened. Okay, I see what's happened. Uh, so I press Ctrl A and paste it like this. It's not correct. You need to paste in this square. I paste it in here. Not correct. This correct. Good. Now it works. Everything updated. Copy. Go to ribbon. It should be scaled now right click paste yeah good scaled you can see how it looks amazing no other way to create scaled ribbon in unreal now next up let's try to create something like a starship one important thing to note is that if uh, my particles spawn right now it's the first cycle so before making capture i press space to remove timeline back to somewhere here because that way our indexes indexes do we have indexes here unique id this is unique id it's from 0 to 15 and if if the loop so my loop right now is five seconds so after five seconds i go to second loop and if i press capture you see indexes got broken and this will work not super correct oh one important thing to note you need to update the particles so because i have 15 particles you need to update it here so i have yellow squares this yellow square and this is the things you need to update so number particles and paste the values in here and that's it so yeah keep in mind about this let's let me show you what happens if i if if the indexes is broken i cop, copy for excel i paste it here and everything looks okay looks the same but you see the texture v that's the data for uv of of the ribbon now it looks a little stretched and broken actually you can uh, zero it out you can make it all zero like this everything should can be zero let me show you so if you make it zero you see it's starting to break break But when you put it all to zero, it will start to work very good. So this is how it must work, should work. Uh, except I need to also remove this point. This is uh, this is good. Or you can just make it correct way. Fifteen particles and and normal id i need also normal id so i need to capture again in here capture copy Bam. so now id is normal i copy it here i go to ribbon 
I right click paste it here so this is kind of same the only thing is that I create one extra point in here so if you look if I move it you see one extra point to fix the UV so uh, other way you can as I mentioned here you can remove all this yeah you see if you remove everything here and make this one zero everything in in here should be zero so zero can you make it zero no let's make it zero like this yeah like this and copy from here paste same So up to you. Uh, this way you will be able to change the UVs. Let's say you want something different in the middle. But you can also always keep it zero to make it equally from all the points. So next thing I want to show you, let's say for example, this star shape. If you create shape like this, so uh, let me show you so the particles look like this i use ring and every uh, odd particle will be moved f uh, more far away every other particle will be closer so and the other thing is the same so velocity from point i also did a ribbon renderer so we can see <laughs> the expected shape we can tweak it to get the star roll star star we want let's say like this yeah now attribute capture uh, copy for excel and delete all this data press the red one and paste and we need to make sure we have the same amount of points 11 and we can see this is not going close to one if i put 11 it's close to one copy and in my ribbon I paste bam now we have star shape uh, something is broken why 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 maybe that's how I created the star shape yeah that's how how the star shape is created okay cool let's see how star shape looks good good looking star yeah you see the normal looking outwards so this area inside is a bit dark but you probably won't need to look inside the ribbon it will be used for some translucent material probably so next just to show let's say for example spiral shape this is the spiral i created i'm using shape location increase radius probably not worth it let's keep it one ah, two, two looks better and u position same and rotation i rotate using execution index this is how much we will have rotation so and angle axis will be z z one in this case we don't want to rotate too much but it will be having some problem and the problem is that first and the last point will be connected no way to avoid that we cannot make open shapes using this ribbon situation so capture copy up make sure i delete everything here and paste now check for the points 20 20 copy easy stuff nothing really special and paste this is the spiral and you can see it's connected actually you can fix it with some uv tricks but you will need to fix figure out this yourself 
yeah this is the ribbon spiral yeah and basically any shape you want you want to see some random stuff okay let's do like a circle but how about we use random here and I don't need any scale okay this is a random circle let's capture it it's just experiment I have no idea what will happen I again forgot to see how many particles we have actually we can check it here actually we have 14 particles so I just put 14 here and copy ribbon and it's gonna crisscross everywhere ah crisscross ribbon beautiful yeah so that's basically it i will share the link for this thing so you need to copy this sheet it's not allowed to edit so you will need to copy it for, for your, on your google app and just use it there for this one i allow only comment commentating so if there's any fix needed we can do it together so yeah maybe not very useful stuff but funny 